Now, the thirst for bottled water has created a massive industry and it's only set to get bigger. Yeah, last year the value of the market hit $200 billion. That's according to one study, up about 9% on the previous year. The Asia-Pacific region was the biggest consumer of bottled water last year and increasing disposable income is expected to continue to boost growth. By 2021, the worldwide market expected to be worth a staggering $350 billion. Well, we're joined by a man whose business is poised to take advantage of that growth. He hopes so anyway. It's Jamie Douglas Hamilton, Chief Executive and Founder of Active Water, based in Edinburgh. Welcome to the programme. Thank you. So we've got a couple of the bottles here. You launched last year. To pardon the pun, it's already a very saturated market. What are you hoping <laughs> to achieve? Well, we're not in the bottled water industry. We're actually competing more up against energy drinks, sports drinks, and we're actually launching that a new like category. That looks like a bottle of water to me. It looks like a bottle of water. But it's it not. It tastes <laughs> like a bottle of water, but it's not. That's okay. about 100,000 times more alkaline than what you get in, let's say, a can of Coke. Or, okay. or Why is that good? Why is alkaline good in water? Because increasingly what's happened over the last 50 years is our diets have become more and more acidic. We have more red meat, we have more sweeteners, we have more sugars, we have more artificial ingredients. And our, whilst our body is very good at self-regulating to keep our blood at a high pH, you're putting more and more pressure on your internal buffering systems with an acidic diet. And that's why in the States, when they drink alkaline water, one of the theories is they call it, well, they call it energy water because they like the way it makes them feel. People feel different from drinking alkaline water. And just explain to us how you made this discovery or came up with this idea. It was all about a crazy trip from Australia to Africa in a rowing boat or something? <laughs> that's right, that's right. Yeah, that was, uh, that was um, we were rowing for two and a half months, two hours on, two hours off, 24 hours a day in all weather conditions. This is you and some friends and raising money for a charity. That's right, for Save the Elephants. And six of us uh, rowed, rowed all the way across. And the problem was we were drinking 9 to 13 litres every day of water. And so suddenly we were flushing all the salts out of our system. And this only changed when one person mixes seawater with water. And the effect was so profound to encourage us all to try it. And we were told never to mix seawater with water, it would dehydrate you. But that was actually the best thing we could have done. So this sparked an interest to research water all over the world. I was found water in, research water in Japan, which actually is called Water for Water. And that is one of the most, yeah, that, 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 that's where it all started back in the 1960s. It started as a cure for, for uh, holistic treatment for people with bad gut health, and now it's expanded. Now it's a huge industry in America. It's now the fastest growing category in America, growing by 80%, not just of water, of any soft drink. How would you get the message out there? Because if I saw that on the shelf, yes, it looks a bit different, um, but as Sally said, it's sort of a bottle of water, um, and that comes at a premium price, doesn't it? So what, what's going to persuade me to sort of part with money to buy this versus you know, any other millions of other rivals you've got on the shelf? We're trying to go very much down the emotional routes, emotional branding, much more about lifestyle branding. So we have a t a ch uh, our tagline to actually charge up, keep it very simple, charge up, drink active, be active so we don't get into science, people can actually understand it. We're doing a lot of marketing, we've been sampling PR events mm. and really getting the word out there. What about the plastic? The plastic, well, th th that is actually, we, right from the start, we made sure that this would be 100% recyclable. So we made sure the cap, the bottle and the label is 100% recyclable, which a lot of bottles aren't. They don't have all three. If you have but a but yeah. that just discourages reusable doesn't it because you're drinking this and you're having to buy more to drink whereas people want to just fill up their bottles put them in the fridge or whatever and and reuse bottles rather than producing more and more plastic bottles does that make sense some people do do do, do reuse them uh, we actually recycle 47 percent of the bottles if you take the whole plastic industry in the uk only 14 percent is actually bottles so it's not actually as much so as... I presume when you and your mates were rowing, you saw a lot of plastic in the ocean. Indian Ocean was actually OK for that. You get different areas in the Pacific, around, around the West Coast, around China, it's very bad. Uh, Europe is actually, surprisingly, it's actually very good for recycling. 57% of all bottles are recycled in Europe. A really brief word, what was harder, running a business or, or doing all that rowing? 
<laughs> both, but very, they're very similar. Both are adventures. Both, are, both you start off and you don't know how they're going to finish. Yeah. But you know they're going to be the hardest thing you ever do. Yeah. And, uh, and, and you're just at the beginning of this particular journey, <laughs> We're aren't just you? at the beginning, yeah. We've, well, we got over the first stage. We're now in the, in the kind the of... The first stage being raising funding and all that kind of raising thing. Raising funding, building the plant, getting the words out there. And now it's into, you know, we're now trading in international markets. We're now in eight, exporting to eight different countries. We're talking to another 12, 12. Uh, international distributors and we're in talks with yeah three major grocery chains one of which we're going to tonight to two weeks all right we shall keep good an luck. eye definitely thanks, thanks Jamie you. nice to see you good luck with it all. thank you